Welcome back to Vacation Vibes. When I last left you, I had just boarded Valiant Lady for my first solo adventure. Come with me as I show you how to do it all on my Dominican Days itinerary. Good morning. Um, I'm not going to hold you. We had a late start this morning. The pajama party shenanigans, the sail away shenanigans, all of that, had your girl down for the count this morning. Um, it's been a long time since I woke up feeling even a little like hungover. A pretty rough seas today. Um, some activities have been canceled just because of the roughness of the seas and everything. So I think just like the little bit of the rocking that's going on has um, me feeling a little ooh, not great. The virgin ships are so stable in comparison to some other ships with waters that look like this, the rocking is pretty minimal. Like we're rocking right now. It's like, you know, you can feel it, but it, you know, things aren't falling off. <laughs> the counter is like shifting around. Like it's pretty, pretty stable. So shout out to these ships being a beast on the waves. But that being said, yeah, I, I went ahead and got some room service because I just could not see myself hustling fast enough to get myself to the galley to actually eat. Um, so I had room service come while I was getting uh, ready for the day and it was like perfect timing and everything. So um, yeah, watched a little bit of the Olympics as well as I'm kind of chilling in my room. And yeah, it is time to uh, get out. Um, I have made so many friends already <laughs> and <laughs> some potential suitors. <laughs> <laughs> I have some people to hang out with today. One guy sent me a plate of chicken wings uh, to dinner at dinner last night. <laughs> That's the first. I don't think I've ever been sent a, a plate of wings. You know, I mean, go figure. He's from Atlanta, right? I don't know. Let me know in the comments. Is that cute? <laughs> I mean, it is what it is. What are some of your favorite things to do on a sea day? For me, taking in the sea is number one on the list. How often are you surrounded by the big blue? And then after that, I went and did a little souvenir shopping with my sailor's loot. I am a cup hoarder and they had some real cute ones in the store this day. There are also nice designer bags on the ship. So if you are in the mood for fancy. And then one thing that made me so happy and proud was going out to the pool and seeing my people stepping it up in the pool. Now people talk about this tiny pool, but it is great for dancing. And if you're wondering, they were dancing to Jerusalem. Okay, so due to weather, the Rich's Rooftop Happy Hour has moved into the Sip Lounge, which is one of my favorite places to be anyway, so that's fine with me. And I'm here with two of my new friends, Seth and Tyree, and we're just having a nice drink for happy hour. Um, and I'm going to tell you how they're enjoying their Virgin Cruise. Yeah, so Seth here, first Virgin Cruise ever. Um, the weather is not favorable but it has not stopped our time. Honestly, everything from the service, the food, the drinks, the times, the people, everything has been top notch. Nah, I mean, just talking about the experience, this is actually my third version of Voyage. I'm taking full blown opportunity to, I've had, I got my guy in, he's joined me now. It's been a beautiful experience for sure. Are you guys single men? Like what's going on? Cause I know the ladies want to know. Single men. Uh, not hiding any wives. Yes, very much single. Um, not thirsty. I saw somebody's shirt that said single, not thirsty, not something, something. <laughs> Might have saw the same person not too long ago. <laughs> Shout out to you. We love the shirt. <laughs> well, we love that. Um, I think Virgin has been known for being very couple heavy. Um, even in my experiences, like it seems like it's made for couples and like you might be wondering if you're gonna go on a girls trip or whatever, if like you're gonna have an opportunity to meet somebody on the board, just have somebody to have fun with. And I think it's absolutely possible to uh, be single and make a little bit on board. So that's something nice that I think you need to Now drop some questions about dating at sea down in the comments. I wanna know, would you do it? Are you curious about it? Have you done it? I wanna hear about all of your stories. And in the meantime, take in some cute views from my favorite bar, the Sip Lounge. You absolutely have to visit this lounge. They have the best drinks on board for sure. Friends, if I'm being honest, just 
just listen. I have not been vlogging much today or posting anything. Let's open the curtains um, for some little fresh sunlight. Oh, it looks beautiful outside now, finally. Um, it is 6.30, I have dinner at seven, so I gotta get ready. But I have not been vlogging much today because I have kind of, kind of been on a date since I've left my cabin. Um, and I don't usually tell you guys, like when I meet people on cruises, I, I do. Um, I have met a few um, nice men on cruises in the past and they haven't been like, it hasn't been bad, honestly, in my opinion. If you are single and you're willing to date and meet people and to see what happens, like it can totally happen for you on Virgin. And that's the reason why I'm telling you, like I have been spending some time with someone today. Um, it's very nice. And we're gonna go to dinner. I'm going to the test kitchen and the test kitchen has a brand new menu, you guys. And I'm so excited to, to try it out and show you a little bit of it. I'm not gonna spoil the whole thing for you, but I'm gonna show you a couple uh, dishes. So with that being said, we gotta get ready for a date tonight. So I'm gonna tame my hair, change my outfit, get freshened up. Let me know how, what you think of tonight's fit. Um, Y'all have seen this dress before. I will link it down below in the description box if you are interested in it. But I like this dress, it's a nice, fun color for me. But I also think it's a really good like date night look. Like, it's covered up enough, but it's also like sexy enough, you know what I mean? It was not meant to be a date night look when I packed it. It was just meant to be a cruise look, but when in Rome. So anyway, let me know down below what y'all think. I have some heels to wear with it and yeah. Okay, welcome back to the test kitchen, guys. We're gonna do a quick little test of the brand new menu here in the test kitchen. Now, while I'm not gonna ruin it for you, I do wanna show you some highlights, such as this first course. So oh, I'm immediately upset that I can't have the eel because of the coconut milk, um, but I'm gonna try the eel anyway, because it's, <laughs> it's a I feel horrible about it. But I will let you know how it is. <laughs> I'm gonna give this uh, zucchini a try really quickly. It's in this like paper here. It's good. It's not. Good? Yeah. Whatever it's like marinated in, it's like really good. Um, but it's zucchini, so it's not like super sexy. This is tasty. It's good. The panna cotta is sweet. The eel, salty, savory, good mix. It kind of feels like dessert and an appetizer at the same time. Oh, okay. Not bad though. Good. We love a foodie. So, for the people who, who don't know at home, if you have any allergies or there's something on the uh, menu that you know you're just not gonna like, you can ask for an alternative and they'll give you one that goes for vegetarians or anything. So I think I just got the vegetarian alternative to the eel um, dish. So shout out to Seth for purchasing the wine pairing for our dinner. This is a great way to elevate your experience at the test kitchen and to impress a date. Now let's play a quick game. I'm gonna show you two dishes and I want you to guess which course we are eating. It might be hard to tell exactly what these dishes are just by looking at them, but that's part of the fun of the test kitchen. Let's cheers. Cheers. Cheers to our new cheers. friends. Cheers, new friends, new friends. To fun. New friends. Yes, it's a life. Cheers, bro. Cheers. I've convinced my new friends to try the cricket drink. Cheers. You got the smoky smoke. Cheers. I just don't want to eat the. Cheers. I had a cricket. Earth phone. They. She wasn't sure she wanted the cricket. I'm not eating. They weren't sure. I'm not eating. Eat the cricket. Get him on camera eating the cricket. How many you want me to take? Eat a cricket. For me. Did you guys try the cricket? I haven't yet. I mean, the drink is incredible. You, now, now, now is a better time than any. And honestly, it's kind of like a British Indian version of baseball. Did you guys eat the cricket? He ate a cricket for real? It's not that bad. Come on. It's just crunchy. 
It's a texture thing. Is it? Am I gonna be? Let's try it. Let's try it. It really wasn't. It doesn't. Oh. I agree with you. The deal was better than that. Yeah. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> well done. It's not a cricket. It's not a cricket. It's a Chase it down. It's a sunflower seed. Yeah, it's a sunflower seed. There you go. I mean, they're flaking apart in the tiny pieces. You. Yeah! Woo! It literally it does taste like a cracker. Time. Thank you so much, Norbit. No worries. Hi, well, hi to 5,000 viewers. Welcome. This guy's the best. Thank you, thank you. Everybody, this guy. Thank you, thank you. Welcome. As advertised. Yeah. So we are back in the room and real quick. So this is the seven C sipper and this is kind of like a way to do the grog walk, but on your own. So there are seven different drinks here that you can check off. You can bring this with you. And if you notice, there's like little spots here, 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 here to check off. So once you get the drink, you check it off and then it's going to put you into a, a raffle. So let's read the, the rules together. It says, during your voyage, visit all seven bars, purchase and receive a stamp for all seven cocktails. For those who abstain, we have non-alcoholic options too. Show, show your completed map at Sailor Services Deck 5 and fill out your raffle ticket. Now, I'm not sure where the raffle ticket wins you, but um, you win stuff. So if you not necessarily want to pay for the grog walk, which is $50, and I will point out each of these seven drinks are $13, um, baby, do the math. Do the math. 13 times 5, or excuse me, 13 times 7 versus $50 for the grog walk. But anyway, if you don't want to do the grog walk, this is an opportunity to do a little raffle ticket. See it, 7 C Sippers. It's a little personal um, adventure. Yeah. We, we had a lot of tequila. I, I look. Like I've had a lot of tequila. Hair is big, outfit is still on. Um, tonight is the We Fancy event at the uh, at the club. Here's my, here is my pro tip for the club. For We Fancy, pack something that's gold or silver, or something shiny, whatever. That is gonna be the night for to do a shiny outfit if that's something that's up your alley. Um, so that's something I will be doing on our group cruise next month. Um, but, do your little shiny gold, silver, whatever reflective outfit on that night. With that being said, I'm going to charge my camera for the night and I'm going to, oop, <laughs> and I'm going to enjoy myself out for the uh, for the night tonight. And then tomorrow we will be in Porta Plata, DR, and we're gonna have us a good time to all together learning some thing, things, some things about Porta Plata, yada, yada, yada. We're gonna have a good time. I'll see you there in the morning. Otherwise, let's check out the club all together, shall we? I've had a lot of tequila shots. Oh my God. Next time on Vacation Vibes, we land in Puerto Plata, Dominican Republic, hit a rum tour in the city, and end the night with Scarlet Night. Be sure to hit the link down below for the group cruise, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.